I love my job. I love doing it. I love getting up every day to do it. People are always asking me when I'm going to retire. I, I really don't have an answer for them. I don't know what I'd do. I, would, I think I'd miss photography just about more than, than anything. My name is Katie Kuhn. I got the pleasure of spending my day with Ken Osborne of the Greenville News in Greenville, South Carolina. I chose this newspaper because, one, I got to visit Greenville, which I love, and two, I saw Ken's portfolio and he seemed like a pretty wonderful photographer, and so I was really excited to be able to learn from him and gain some experience shooting next to an actual photojournalist in the field. We started our day off super early at 6 a.m. at the local mall for the iPhone 5 release. Through this experience at the mall, he taught me how to relate to the subject. He taught me about cameras and which lenses would be best, what shots I should take, and showed me the value of connecting with the community and everything that you can learn from those people around you. After we got done at the mall, we sat down and edited the photos and captioned them at the local Panera Bread. He said that he spends most of his time in places with free Wi-Fi so that he can get his assignments in on time. After we did that, we went back to the office. He showed me around the newspaper room and everybody that was there. He introduced me and it was a great experience to be able to see a working news room, all the local reporters and other photographers that were there. He then got an assignment for later that afternoon with one of the young reporters to shoot a man who was telling his story about his local neighborhood that he grew up in and how it's changed since he was a little boy. Ken uses a different approach to photography. He also shoots with an iPhone for video, and I thought that was a really great idea. He uses this technology that we have around us every day to portray a story without using super expensive camera equipment. By the end of our day, I learned so much from Ken. He's a great person. He had a ton of stories to tell me about his experience as a photographer, the different routes he's taken throughout his life and I can't wait for you to experience it as well. My name is Ken Osborne. I'm a staff photographer at the Greenville News in Greenville, South Carolina. I joined the paper in 1999 and have worked here continuously since then. I cover all kinds of events from car wrecks to politicians and everything from sports to human interest stories. I've been in photography for a very long time. I'm a graduate of uh, Brooks Institute of Photography in Santa Barbara, California. I got interested in photography when I was in the Marine Corps and pursued it after I got out. Graduated from Brooks in 1969. For the next 28 years, I worked doing advertising photography, primarily automotive advertising. I was based out of the Detroit area for many years, but in addition to that, I worked a lot in Europe, 14 years, working eight years out of Frankfurt, Germany, and another six years out of Paris. I've also done a lot of work in South America, again, automotive oriented, uh, working for the advertising agencies for various automobile companies, everybody from General Motors, Chevrolet, Pontiac, Buick, Oldsmobile, Mercedes, BMW, Opel, and just had an incredible opportunity for a lot of years to travel the world and have some amazing job and experiences. As the years went by, I started moving in a different direction, doing editorial work for magazines, and I was heavily involved in stock photography for many years. In 1998, I'm sorry, 1988, I had a very busy year. I was gone from my home 315 days in one year. And that was really a turning point for me. I, I decided, uh, I had two, two children at the time, and that I was really missing way too much, so began to turn around my business and do different things than what I had, not travel as much as I had in, in previous years. The money was wonderful, but uh, it finally just began to catch up with me. And it was about that time also that I was I was really getting burned out in photography, and I decided to uh, take uh, one of the main photographic workshops. That was a real eye opener for me. It gave me a chance to do photography for the love of photography, not for the money of photography. But it's been a great career. As an aside, in 1994, my wife and I sold our house, put everything in storage, 
bought a sailboat, and we sailed for four and a half years. We started in Maine. We ended up in San Diego, and at, at that time, we really couldn't afford to stay in San Diego. It was very expensive to buy a house, and so we decided on Greenville, South Carolina. So we came here, and for a year, I played golf and didn't do much of anything. And toward the end of that year, I really was beginning to miss photography. And even though I had never done newspaper work, there was an opening here, and I applied for it and got it. I've been here ever since. I think probably the thing that I have enjoyed most is the opportunity to meet people in the community, in the state. This job affords you an incredible opportunity to enter people's lives, to learn about their lives, their experiences, uh, what they're going through, and just be a part of that. Even though it's a short time, it's uh, I, that to me has been the best part, people that you meet, people I work with. I love the young reporters that I work with and the experiences that we've all had together, and it's just been a lot of fun. A couple of years ago, there was a train derailment just up the road near Clemson that spilled a lot of dangerous ha hazardous chemicals and so forth. I covered that. But I can tell you this, no, no matter what the future brings, there's always going to be a need for photography. There is always going to be a need for good photography. I meet a lot of young people that shoot pictures. They're not particularly good photographers, but they take a mediocre picture into the digital darkroom and make things out of it. And I think that's a great thing in itself, but young people need to be more dedicated to photography and what it's what it's all about. The, the mechanics of it, the art of it, the understanding of f-stops and shutter speeds and, and so forth, uh, you know, and how they relate to each other. All you can do or is present the best pictures that you have not everyone is going to like what you do. On the other hand, there's going to be hopefully enough people out there that like what you do that will hire you and give you the work. And I've been very fortunate in my lifetime to be successful at that. In the end, it comes down to your work. And if you've got good work, you'll, you'll get good work. And an interesting thing about photography, you have two different spheres of the brain. One is the mechanics, one is the creative. There are very few forms of art that require you to use both those. Photography is one of them.